This is part 9 of our video. Let's now talk about travel. From my experience, small business owners love to claim travel expenses on their tax returns. And in many cases, they include expenses that are not deductible for tax purposes. So, when a taxman comes at the door, those expenses will be disallowed. So, what can we deduct in this case? There is not much information on the CRA's website. The agency allows deductions for public transportation, hotel accommodations and meals. As you remember, in most cases only 50% of meals is deductible. Generally speaking, you can deduct all the above expenses plus taxi, business-related training and registration fees and dry cleaning while on business trips. But before that, you have to prove that your trip was for business purposes. Whether it is meeting with client or prospects, educational seminar, negotiations or professional training. How can we do that? As we mentioned more than once, the key is good record keeping. There is another case where a paper trail could save you lots of money. So rule number one. Keep some documentation to prove that the primary purpose and intent for your trip was business. If there was no business purpose for your trip, all your expenses will be disallowed. Emails are good, so keep them and all other invitations from your clients, prospects and so on. Rule number two. Make it a habit to document all your business movements in a day planner whether it is an old paper style or an electronic gadget. Remember that your day planner is a huge money saver when it comes to justifying travel-related deductions. In case of an audit, if there is a missing or questionable deduction, the day planner can serve as a corroborating tool. It doesn't mean that you should do business 8 hours a day. You can meet with your friends, go to the theater and so on. And the trip would still be 100% deductible. Keep all the business cards of people you meet with, brochures or any other business related materials. Last but not least, the cost of the trip should be reasonable in the context of your business. What is reasonable in this case? It simply means that if, for example, you live in Toronto, and want to learn an Excel program, you shouldn't go to Las Vegas to take courses. That travel expense will be disallowed by the CRA, I guarantee you. The whole issue becomes more complicated where your trip is both for business and for fun. In that case, the expenses should normally be prorated. I hope this information was useful. If you have any questions, you can always give me a call at 416 857-7570